Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Riyadh Car Show for the second time. We're gonna check the new Megane E-Tech Electric, but this is the Equilibri trim. So this is a middle trim. I saw in Valencia, I couldn't film it, the lowest trim without uh, colored front and rear bumper. They're just plasticky and you don't have this Dayton running light at the bottom. But in this video, we're gonna focus on the Equilibri package. Some of you are gonna get it as a company car and most of the reviews cover the top trim. So this trim has uh, no black roof only side mirrors uh, only the top trim gets that so most of the reviews are focused on the top trim so in this one uh, it's the same color of the vehicle and let's come a little bit closer check the details so you have the same led pre vision led projectors data running lights uh, this is a gray color looks quite nice uh, we have unpainted plastic here and then piano black lip extending through and over the arches underneath as well there's also unpainted plastic on the side of the doors you have that aerodynamics there so this is blank on the front you don't get parking sensors or the parking camera you get it only on the back same with the parking sensors only on the back air intake at the bottom EVs also have coolers and <clears throat> the big badge the new diamond badge is the radar of course so black and gray always looks good you have also a little chrome there for styling so the car looks the same from the outside really nice looking the only thing you're gonna notice and know this is like not the top trim is not having the black roof but if you're really into that you can uh, get it uh, you know blackened out with a like a paint uh, protection film that's in color or similar 18 inch alloys beautiful looking diamond cut silver and black kind of closed for better aerodynamics came on Michelin e primacy tires and you can see the arches in black now this is plastic so it's extending all the way there piano black mirrors uh, basic speakers in this car so you're gonna see inside uh, this is probably the first time I'm not happy with the sound system. Lane assist camera standard and light and range sensor. So B pillars are not in piano black, also no black trim here, it's just standard rubber and this is also not piano black. You have this handles that pop out, there's also like a little hidden cylinder there, hope the car didn't lock blind spot in the mirror itself so just to show you the profile of the car and on the back you still have alloys now checking the rear so the rear looks like I don't know I told this in my previous review like Range Rover or something like that it reminds me design wise uh, on the rear you get the same LED tail lights I thought they were connected might be wrong here so maybe that's something that stands out they're not connected you have parking sensors on the rear and back in camera we got e-tech e -tech electric press here to open now the cargo space is the same very nice big and deep there's an extra room here perhaps for the charging cables see it's now down 60 40 one warm light, grocery hooks there, you have those. So, practical, this one's manual. Can't remember if I had electronic on the top trim now, it's actually almost a year ago. And closing up, so the antenna on the top is like a classical antenna rubberized, so it doesn't have the shark fin antenna. Let's check the rear. Good closing sound, opening sound, of course. Uh, doors open nice and wide. Now let's check the difference. Um, well, doors are the same on the back, hard plastic. This is a little texture, all black. This is uh, lightly padded. A little textile here in the pockets. They're kind of small. Uh, this is the same, piano black and two speakers. Pair of windows. Now, uh, the difference here is that textile have a black at the bottom and then on the top where you're sitting, it's gray textile white contra stitching nicely fixed there and uh i don't think there was an armrest but you can also see white roof liner well not white but like light tone excuse me uh there's a nice 
all-weather floor mat that's kind of right on the spot there. And let's jump inside. Now, uh, this seat is a bit more forward because if I was sitting on the front, it would not be possible to have this comfort on the back. But an average person on the front, you should have a lot of comfort. Uh, textile seats and you have the AC vents here closed open two USB-C's they do illuminate once the car is turned on you have the isofix on the front passenger seat now these are nice and they're profiled for the person uh, on the back at least for two people this one's not profiled but it's nice and soft you can see the difference you have handles on all sides beside your driver. On the back, you have those hooks. Let's hear the closing sound. Okay, and voila. This is the front end. Of course, you're going to notice that half of the screen is missing. In the lower trims, you don't get the navigation, so they kind of half in the screen. And yeah, I would prefer have to have the big screen, of course. But interesting textile on the dash there, matching the seats. So it looks kind of interesting. Let's get on the front and check it out. Okay, so front doors open a bit wider, uh, same materials. You also get that greeting uh, animation there. Now this is actually hard plastic. Same on the back, you have a little chrome here, uh, rubber pad here, so this is also soft touch padded, and this is all the same. So power windows and side mirrors. Uh, you can lock the rear big pockets on the front also textile speaker there and uh well just not to miss here so you have still the same 60 kilowatt hour battery this is the 18 inch and there's an option for 20. uh yeah okay so checking the seats so lumbar and then this is for up and down push up to tilt the seat and push that up to slide back and forward Standard paddle is rubberized, electronic parking brake auto hold, steering column is manual, lane assist, traction, height control of the lights, and illumination brightness for the displays. Now, nice, big, comfortable seats. And let's jump inside. So, check it out. So, I think I'll have to adjust maybe a little bit it down a bit. Let's close the doors. Good closing sound, switching to white lens. Okay, so once again, greeting there. So now, sorry if uh, the hand is shaking, I've uh, forgot my stand for the phone, so my hand is getting tired, but uh, you can see the display here. It's kind of odd without this bottom part. So let's zoom back in. Now, I'm just gonna move this to the side there. So just uh, everything in front here is the same. You know, the steering wheel is the same, you have nice smooth leather, all the buttons are here, nothing's missing. I think the driving though, actually, yeah, multi-sense is missing, but everything else is the same and looking nice. Now, I'm just gonna get straight to it, uh, but we, to the display options and changes. Now here, just to show you, there's a textile here, uh, so this is all hard plastic. There's a speaker uh, right there, everything blowing to the side. You have a blind spot in the mirror, but no blind spot warning. That's one of the key uh, changes. Let me actually turn the car on. I know there's a key I checked. Um, so car is actually on. So um, let me just show you here. So actually I'm gonna press here. So this is a classical uh, dial and this is your classical display. So this one, you go here, you can see music, eco monitor, tire pressure, distance, odometer, and the power consumption and the service intervals. Um, you still have here for the distance, cruise options. Uh, that's quite nice, you have the recuperation, uh, battles and classical light controls, uh, wiper controls, music, radio controls, uh, park reverse neutral drive, press here to park and um, you can see the range at 60%, at least uh, estimate is 240 there. Now I'm going to switch off the AC here, uh, pressing here, 
you can see how that works. You have heated steering wheel and heated seats that's very generous on the front. Wireless charging pad for your phone, of course, hazards, and so on. You can see the power button. Now let's focus on this screen a bit. So this is the home screen. Actually, excuse me, no, this is the home screen. Um, so you have these shortcuts, you have eco driving modes. You don't have the classical uh, modes, just the eco. Maybe when the battery is low, you just want to extend your range slightly. Uh, those are the uh, home screen shortcuts. And then here you have the apps. You have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So yes, you can still use this display to show like uh, Google Maps or uh, Waze. This is all standard. Now, let me show you some music here. Um, yeah, actually, I forgot about this one. Okay, there are some advertisements at the moment. So we're going to come back to this maybe in a moment. Um, just to show you here, I played the balance. So that's that. Um, we have FM and dub. Um, let's see one more time. I gotta say that the speakers are just not the best. Just missing a deep sound, missing the bass. Quite very basic. Uh, you can connect your phone here and then come to the car settings. So you still have eco here, you have the air quality, you can turn the air purifying inside. Um, I'm just gonna lower the fan speed here. And uh, over here you can see the driving score savings. And then um, driving assistance. So you have the following distance, driver mode alert, not to get drowsy. Okay, the system is trying to save the battery. So, oh wait, I went to updates by mistake. Driving assistance, so departure, and you can see here lane keeping. So you don't have the, like a blind spot or cross traffic alerts. Electric, you can see the range here. Actually, yeah, here you can change recommended daily for battery health, programming, pedestrian warning system, sounds, consumption, and so on. Now, um, vehicle, okay, I probably got there somehow by mistake. Screen option, you have colors here for the background. So that's that, outside, access, welcome, wiping, cockpit, turn indicator, volume, uh, favorites buttons, you can put a heated steering wheel, you can see that, you can edit widgets here, these are the widgets, not a lot of them, and um, I think that's all, and this is settings, just, we've been here already, um, and parking assistance. So yeah, that's that's it. So kind of basic, uh, but still looking good. Uh, again, apologies if my camera is shaking. Just forgot the phone stand. Uh, wireless charger is nice and rubberized here. Uh, a lot of space in here. I think someone removed the dividers here. You can get them as well. At least as an option. If not, if you don't get it in the stream, you have the cup holder that's adjustable here. Also, kind of smart and. Uh, this is nice and soft, it extends, uh, you press in, and uh, you have this little space, it's rubberized, two USB-Cs, you have a very special glove compartment, this is all the same, and uh, you have the isofix there, seats are nice and comfy, especially in the winter, with this cloth, nice and warm, I like the textile on the top of the dash with this nice silver trim. And uh, this one's kind of smaller, I've noticed that. Uh, the key is in there, so the key fob is the same here. You can see that and you can see the uh, space here. So uh, this is it. So um, yeah, uh, very nice looking. Now just to wrap it up here, on the top you have classical mirror with the basil. Not looking premium on the top trim you have the baseless auto dimming passenger information touch lights emergency calls uh documents holder and this now on the front here let me show this okay so i need to go all the way down all the way down to have uh enough headroom this is the lowest sitting position so i'm not touching my hair on the top on the back 
you know, uh, this roof is slightly going down. So there's not enough headspace for me, but for an average person, it is fine. Sorry for not showing that, but you can go to my uh, detailed review of the Megan E-Tech with the top trim. So you can see that uh, as well. So uh, let me show you the spec sheet. And uh, this is for the Austrian uh, audience. So this is a, a base price is 40,000 and there's uh, some sort of discount and comes to 38. So there you go, pause and read. Use the Google Translate. Uh, there's a different price in that spec sheet, so I'm not uh, really sure which one's which. Uh, I actually have to turn off the car. Okay, I think it's off now. Is it? No. Okay, now it's off. Uh, I, okay, I guess there's a software update here, so... Um, okay, I'm just gonna say confirm, I don't care. Um, okay, I'm gonna watch the doors there. So... Uh, to wrap it up here, just gonna do a software update. Uh, actually, I did it uh, on the test model as well. Uh, you can't drive the car, of course, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, but that's it. Uh, once again, look at the alloys looking gorgeous. And here's the charge board. So uh, on the uh, right side of the vehicle, we have that diamond shaped badge here. Type 2 for AC charging up to 11 kilowatts. And then uh, combined CCS2 for DC charging. I think it was like up to 100 kilowatts, 130 perhaps. I forgot from top of my head. I know it was not like more than that. If it is top 150, but I forgot. I think it's not because uh, it has a 60 kilowatt battery. So, you know, it doesn't need the highest speeds. I'm not going to open the um, bonnet there. Actually, let's open it maybe. Uh, I just wanted to switch off the lights here. So, I mean, you saw the electric motor in the other video, but I like to be detailed. So if you're here, there is no front space. So let me just show it to you. It's somewhere here. Yeah, found it. Just post a yellow thing to the left and here's your electric motor. So no room for um, front space. The yellow thing here, that's where you pour your washer fluid. Let it drop, closes perfectly, and that was the Megan E-Tech Electric Equilibri package. So if you liked it, give it a like, share it, leave a comment below how you like it. And if you want to see more from Weird Car Show, do subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos. Thanks for watching, stay safe, bye.